back my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about this bag right here. This is the Saint Laurent Raffia camera bag. If you guys haven't checked out my recent luxury haul, make sure to do so. I was on the hunt for a new summer bag. I mentioned in that video that in the summer months, I love to wear a lot of dresses and skirts. And in doing so, I also like to wear Raffia bags. So I actually, I actually saw this bag last summer and I really wanted it and I thought, you know what, do I need it? Do I need it? No. But then this year it came around again and I want to say Neiman Marcus was having a gift card event and what can I say? I am a big believer of if I'm going to buy something, I like to get something with my purchase, whether it be getting a gift card with it or getting a certain amount off. So that's how it was. I think if you spent a certain amount you got a gift card so I should be getting that mailed to me in a couple of weeks. But ever since I did that video, I have gotten a lot of messages saying, Amber, can you do a dedicated video on this bag? Can you show what fits, show ways to wear it, you know, the positives and the negatives? So I thought I absolutely can. So that's what this video is going to be all about today. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to hear me talk all about this bag and tell you the positives and the negatives and kind of break it down a little for you, then keep watching. Okay, so what I want to do first before I show you what fits and before I show you ways to wear, I want to kind of tell you a little bit about this bag just in the event, you know, you've seen it online, but you really want to kind of get up close and personal with it and know what features it currently has. So this is the beautiful camera bag. You guys might recall, I have raved about the camera bag. I have it in black and I also have it in a beautiful suede cinnamon color. I just can't say enough good things about it. I mean, I guess I would have to like a bag if I have three of the same style, which is bad. Usually I don't like to repeat the same bag, but this is just so good. So this bag right here, it has the raffia material. It has the YSL logo. You can see on the back, it is just the plain raffia. So in the event you didn't want the logo exposed, you could wear it this way as well. This one does not have the shiny gold hardware. It's a little more rustic, I guess you could say. It is leather lined with this black leather here. The camera bag also comes with a tassel that says Saint Laurent on it. And then on the interior, there is a little pocket here and then it is one large compartment. So let me go ahead and let me kind of tell you the measurements. So the measurements of the bag, it is nine inches in width. It is six and a half inches in height and it is about three inches in depth right there. So you also have the strap here and the good thing about this bag is the strap is adjustable keep in mind it is not removable but it is adjustable and the strap drop is anywhere from 21 to 24 inches depending on which hole you have it on so you can see that is adjustable there but this is just a great great bag like i said i think this is going to be perfect in the summer months in the spring summer months when wearing a dress i'm really into the raffia style it just gives me that beachy feel i am actually going to the beach very soon we're actually going in about a month or so which is a little earlier than we usually go but everything was booked up that was like the only week we could go but i'm really excited to take this because i just think it's going to go really nicely with a lot of my summer outfits okay now let me kind of do some matchats for you and i'll kind of show you you know ways to wear the bag okay so i am about five foot three and you can see the bag hits me right here the one thing i really like about the bag is you see how it is nice and flat it is very very comfortable to wear which I love plus with it having a top zip it's just really easy to kind of access all of your things and I'm a big fan that if you're gonna have like a crossbody bag you want everything to be easily accessible so you can wear it as a crossbody like this or if you don't want to wear it as a crossbody wear it as like a long shoulder bag like so so those are really the only two ways to wear the bag as the straps on here are not removable. So I personally like to wear it crossbody. I think it looks the best that way. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to spin around and I want to show you what fits in the bag because obviously what's the most important thing about carrying a bag? You want to know what fits. So let's go ahead and spin around and I will show you what items I can put in here. 
Okay guys, here is the beautiful Raffia camera bag. You can see that on the interior here, it is just one large compartment. So what I'm gonna do, like usual, I brought a plethora of goodies and I am gonna show you a bunch of different combinations so you can see what fits in this bag. So the first thing I brought is I brought this beauty right here. This is a YSL wallet. It is a large wallet. Now I don't really carry a large wallet anymore, but a lot of people do. So I wanted to show you that this can fit. So you can see that fits in there very nicely with room to spare. So let's say at that point you then need a key holder. So I have this little beauty right here. This is the YSL Empreint key pouch. And you can slip that in there. And then let's say you also want a card holder. So I have this card holder right here. This is by YSL and you can pop that in there and you can see there is still plenty of room. So a lot of people ask me with the bags, they're like, okay, well, can sunglasses fit? So I went ahead and I grabbed this case with my key Australia sunglasses and you can pop those right on top. And then you can go ahead, you can zip it, and you can see everything fits in there nicely. There's no puckering or anything. So now let me go ahead and show you a different combination. Because let's say you're someone who does not carry a large wallet and you want a different combination. So Let's say you're someone who wants to carry the mini pochette here. Everybody loves the mini pochette. This is a good key ball. So you can pop that in there and you can see there's plenty of room. And then let's say you're someone that wants more of a compact wallet. Oh gosh, you guys, I love this little compact wallet here. This is by St. Laurent. It has some credit card slots, a billfold, and then there's a spot for your coins. I did a comparison between this and the Victorine wallet. So make sure to check that out if you guys are on the fence between those two but you can see that fits in there nicely. And then let's say you are a planner like me and you wanna put your agenda. This is my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM. You can pop that in there. You see there's still room. And let's say you wanna add your keys in there again. You can put that in there and then there's still room on top in the event you want to your sunglasses so you can see all of that fits now a lot of people might say okay well amber I don't have the mini pochette but does the toiletry 15 fit so let's go ahead and see all right so here is the toiletry 15 I love this little guy for um, just like a little key ball so that fits and let's say you wanted to also put your mini pochette well that fits in there as well so you can see this just fits so many items and oh I want to show you one more thing the newest item um, that I have is this little cutie and if you guys did not see my recent unboxing this is from the men's watercolor collection make sure to do so you guys this is such a cute piece but I showed you in that video how I'm gonna use it as like a little key ball, but this will even fit at the bottom. So you can put that at the bottom there and then you could put like a wallet on top and you know, there are just so many different combinations that you can put in this bag. And I do have the iPhone XR, which I don't have it up here with me, but that does fit in here as well. So the beauty of this bag is it looks like it's small and compact, but it fits quite a bit. So like I said, if you're someone who carries a large, wallet you can use this if you're someone who prefers a little compact wallet you can you know you have your key balls you have so many different combinations so this is definitely a great bag in the sense where it definitely will fit your essentials plus some 
Okay, let me go ahead and let's go through the positives and negatives and spoiler alert you guys know that I love the camera bag since this is my third camera bag so there really aren't going to be too many negatives here I'm just gonna tell you more so there are definitely more positives than negatives at least from what I can find so far so let's start with the positives the positives as you just saw this bag fits a lot it looks like it's not really that large but it fits all of your necessities from your phone to your wallet to you know lotion to anything you might need and I think that is huge I really really do it can even fit a full-size wallet which I think is important too I don't really carry a full-size wallet but it's nice to know that if you are someone that does carry a full-size wallet that this would fit Another thing about the camera bag, I love the fact that it does have an adjustable strap. You guys know how much I love adjustable straps. I like that you can adjust it to your height, so you can put it a little longer if that's your preference, or wear it a little shorter, so I definitely like that. I also like the fact of how comfortable it is to wear. I mentioned because of the shape of this bag, because it is more of a, of a, a rectangle and it is flatter, it's very comfortable and it sits really nicely on the body. Plus, because another positive, because it does have this zip opening, a lot of times what I do is I don't even zip the bag. I just kind of leave it puckered open like so, and I can just easily access my things. So if I'm on the go, if I'm at the grocery store, I need to get my wallet really quickly, I can do that. And with the bag open, I don't have to worry about things really falling out, but I absolutely love it. Another thing too is I, again, I think this is going to be the perfect summer bag. Like I said, I've always been on the hunt for a good raffia bag. So the minute I saw that they came out with the YSL camera bag in the raffia style, I was like, oh. I have to have it I definitely do so I definitely like this and another good thing about this too if you want the raffia bag you don't have to get it in this color they also had a black raffia if you want that or they have a brown raffia I think it depends on your style but I opted for this because I just think it's perfect for summer and it is a really really great great bag I'm telling you I can't say enough good things now let's talk about the negative I personally have only come up with two negatives the first negative, you guys know that I love a strap to be removable and adjustable. This one does not have a removable strap. However, I don't really know that you would want to have a removable strap with this bag. I mean, I guess it would be nice because then you could kind of carry it as like a little clutch. So whether or not you want to consider that a negative, I don't know. One thing that you might consider a negative is I feel since this bag is a raffia bag, it is a very casual bag. So for me, I would I don't think I would wear this to a dressy event. So it's not really a versatile bag in the sense where you would want to wear it with like dressy clothes. And of course you can do you know whatever you want but in in my opinion I feel like this bag is best suited for the summer months it's a little more casual not super dressy when I say super dressy I mean like going to a wedding or something like that I definitely think it's very casual so if you're looking for a bag dress up and dress down an example of that would be the regular YSL camera bag in the all black I feel like that you can wear dressy and you can also dress it down as well whereas this one because of the raffia material it definitely is a casual bag so I have to be honest guys other than that that is the only negative I found I really really love the camera bag I have raved about the camera bag my favorite one obviously is the black one I wear that one all the time I can't say enough good things and I would definitely recommend it if you're on the hunt for a good raffia bag and like I said if you don't want the camera style raffia bag they also have some other really cute raffia bags by Saint Laurent so maybe check those out as well but I will try to find this bag and link it down below actually since I purchased it I think I told you I got it through Neiman Marcus I have seen it at Saks Fifth Avenue and Saks Fifth Avenue had an event where you got like $250 off so they do a lot of those events during the summer so like I said I will find this bag and I will link it down below if you guys are torn and you're not sure whether or not to get this bag and you have any questions at all please feel free to reach out that's what I'm, what I'm here for you know that's why I try to do these reviews because I know these items can be really pricey and you want to do research before purchasing them but if you're going to ask me my opinion I absolutely love this bag and I definitely think it's worth it. So I hope that helps. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. I do a lot of reels, outfit pics, and I'd love to have you join my little Instagram family. Have a wonderful day you guys and I will see you in my next video. Ooh.